Hi, this is Kimball Bullington, and this is a video showing how to calculate mean absolute percent error for a forecast. In order to do this, we're going to create a forecast first for our avocado uh, uh, forecasting homework. And we're going to uh, calculate a five period moving average, and then we'll calculate uh, mean absolute percent error. So, um, actually, I've already calculated this here. You see the, the percent. Uh, just equals average D4 to D8. And so we have the five-period moving average forecast. And now I want to calculate the percent error. And um, we're going to put our mean absolute percent error here. But first we're going to calculate the individual um, absolute percent errors. And then we'll take the mean. So um, we write our formula, abs. Uh, the original data, the, uh, the actual sales, minus the um, forecast. And that's our deviation. And then to get that as a ratio, we'll divide by our original data. And that will give us 0.25. We really would need to get this in percent. So we'll convert that to percent by multiplying by 100. 100. 25.29 percent. Does that look uh, close? So um, 0.68 is your original. Uh, 0.85 is your forecast. You missed it by 0.17, which is a quarter of of um, of the original. Uh, it looks like certainly we're 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 close there, and we'll. We'll copy this down. Won't let me double click right now for some reason, but we'll copy this down. And there are our percentages. And then it's just a matter of taking the mean, so average of all of these. And our mean absolute percent error is 14% which means on average we're missing this forecast by 14% um, in magnitude. So that's that's counting the misses high and the misses low equally. They're not offsetting each other. They're just looking at magnitude. Thanks. That's a quick look at mean absolute percent error.